Okay, so let's talk about equations that look like this. So, uh, you know, what exactly is going on here? Well, we have an equation. We're trying to solve for y. But what makes this equation a little bit more interesting, and to some of you maybe a little bit more complicated, is that we have some fractions. But no need to distress. If you always do this, you're going to get these problems right. So I'm going to, I'm going to get into exactly what you want to do and what this is in just one second so you can handle uh, solving these basic algebra equations. Very, very important that you know how to deal with all sorts of equations in algebra because really uh, algebra, a good chunk of algebra, majority of the study of algebra is solving various type of equations. So again, I'm going to get into exactly what to do here. Now, if you think you can solve the problem, certainly pause the video and see how you solve it, see if you come up with the right solution, and we can kind of compare notes at the end of this video. But um, this is certainly a type of problem that you're going to need to know how to uh, solve if you expect to pass algebra. Okay, so I'm going to get into the, uh, exactly what this is in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses from pre-algebra to pre-calculus, everything in between. I also, I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, teacher certification exam, ASVAB, I, you, I can go on and on and on. Literally, I have tons of courses. So if any, you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I likely have a test prep course for that. I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you um, homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program that obviously help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, one thing, if you are a math student, you must take a look at your notes. If your notes are anything less than perfect, outstanding, okay, this is a good place to start to really make sure you are... Um, getting the most out of your math education. you got to take fantastic notes. So improve your notes. Things will get much better for you. Uh, but in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from if you'd like. I'm going to leave uh, the links to my notes in the description of this video. All right, now here is our problem. If you think you know what to do, go ahead and pause the video and solve it. But uh, how do you want to approach this? Well, let's go down here and talk about it. I'm going to walk through this problem right now. So you can see I'm doing some stuff, but let's just talk about this. We have, uh, you know, some fractions going on here. And most students, they don't want to, you know, deal with the fractions. So there's a couple different ways that students can think about this. They could be like, well, maybe I should add up this stuff and then, you know, do this first. And you can do that. You could, you could take an approach to solve, you know, to add these two terms and then solve for three. Okay, that's one kind of, or solve for y by involving the three, but a much better way uh, to deal with this is just to get rid of the fractions right off the bat, okay? Now, I wanna highlight here that our denominators are all numbers, okay? And this is a very, very important distinction I'm gonna make here, okay? So three, if I write that as a fraction, that's three over one. So our denominators are all numbers. So one way you can approach this is to solve this entire equation by the LCD, okay? So if we look at uh, our denominators, we have two, six, and one. The lowest common denominator is six. So if you multiply by the lowest common denominator, uh, we can clear the fractions. I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like here in just one moment. But uh, this is the easiest way to approach this. You always wanna do this, all right? So if you see an equation, you have your denominators are numbers, you can just multiply by the LCD and clear the, uh, the fractions and continue on. Now, the distinction I wanna make is the following. If you have variables down here, so let's say I had uh, a problem like two over x plus three over x minus one equals seven. Now, here our denominators are variables, and okay, are variable terms. You can still multiply, okay, by the LCD. However, you're going to have to deal with something called extraneous solutions, and that is uh, for another 
um, kind of video. Now, I have tons of videos in my YouTube channel that I talk about how to solve what we call rational equations, but I really want to make that distinction here. Here, I'm multiplying by a number to clear the fractions. If I was multiplying with anything with a variable, then I'm going to have to think about something called extraneous solutions. So don't forget about that because you're going to be encountering, encountering both type of uh, equations. All right, and this is obviously the, the easier one. All right, so now that we know that our LCD is 6, we're going to multiply 6 by this entire equation to clear the fractions. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. All right, so it's going to be 6 times this, all right? and then six times this, and then six times this. And let's go ahead and do that now. So when I'm multiplying six times y over two, I could just kind of cross cancel. Two goes into six three times, so that's gonna be three y, okay? Now if you need to kind of see that more explicitly, you can have six times y over two, or six over one. So that's six y over two. Of course, you're gonna get three y. So hopefully you can see the cross canceling going on here. All right, so now let's go ahead and do six times uh, y plus two. So six uh, cross cancels with six there. So I'm just left with y plus two, all right? And then I have six times three, which of course is 18. So by multiplying by the uh, lowest common denominator, I'm left with this lovely basic uh, equation right there. Okay, three y plus y plus two is equal to 18. And hopefully all of you out there can solve this. Pretty easy stuff. I got 3y here, 1y there, so I have 4y. 4y plus, 4y plus 2 is equal to 18. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. That leaves me with 4y is equal to 16. And now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. That leaves me with the solution y is equal to 4. Now, if any of this is uh, giving you a little bit of trouble, you want to definitely go back and review how to solve basic Linear equations, you will always want to start with one step, two step, and then multi-step equations. Again, I have a ton of videos on this in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Or maybe you might want to consider taking like my algebra course if you really, really want to master this stuff. But this is the solution. Okay, y is equal to 4 to this equation. And just to kind of double check ourselves, if y is equal to 4, let's go down here to our original equation. We're saying that y would... Uh, equal uh, y was equal to 4 is the solution. So if I replace this y with a 4 and this y with the 4, let's see what happens, okay? So we'll replace this y with uh, a 4, okay? And we're saying that's the solution. And this y we'll, we'll replace with a 4. And now let's see if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, okay? 4 plus 2 is obviously 6, so we have 6 over 6 right here. And we're going to see if that's going to be equal to 3. Well, this is 2. Okay, 6 divided by 6 is 1. 2 plus 1. Last time I checked, it was, in fact, 3. Now, if you got this um, equation uh, correct all on your own, and you're like, uh, you know, I totally understand this, I must give you a happy face with a nice 1983 Mohawk, an A+, plus and a couple stars, just to make you feel extra special. So that's very, very good, okay, that you... Uh, understand that, you know, clearing the fractions with the LCD is the way to go with these type of problems. However, you must keep in mind that if you're multiplying, you know, both sides of the equation or clearing fractions with some sort of variable term, we have to talk about something called extraneous roots. And that's, you know, a little bit more complicated um, type of problems when we're dealing with rational uh, equations. But absolutely things that you're going to be, um, you know, having to understand and know how to do in order to be successful in algebra. But, you know, first things first. First thing is to recognize, hey, I got an equation. It has uh, fractions involved in it. Take a look at the denominators and then be thinking LCD. Always do that, okay, you know, to make your life a lot easier. Okay, so if this video was helpful in some small, tiny way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out a lot. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus videos on my channel, basic to advanced math. So if you like my teaching style, I can definitely help you out. I make these videos to help uh, all of you out there. Okay, my goal is always try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. 
Thank you for your time and have a great day.